हेलो विवास हम मिस्टरी बांजा एंड टुडे वी बी टॉकिंग अबाउट हाउ वी कूड रीच एंटर द द वाई कास्ट ऑफलाइन रजिस्ट्रेशन फॉर 2019 सेशन दिस आज ए रिजल्ट ऑफ ए समबडी दैट कॉल्ड मी फ्रॉम फार अवे डिस्टेंस दैट आई शुड पुट हिम थ्रू थ्रू वीडियो and that's the essence of this video so that we uh, the person uh, will be able to go about uh, the registration so and that's the essence of this video of course i've already done a video on this before which is uh which they help us to install the packages the dependency packages that uh, the cars offline depends on So if you have not watched that uh, probably you are just uh, starting or uh, getting to know about uh, Wirecast offline you can try to check the video on my playlist and uh, in this video you are not going to be doing it from the scratch this is just to help the person who requested for this video so if you really want to know how to go about it from the beginning try to visit my playlist check the video on the cast that I've made in the past like two, some months ago and uh, you will be able to see how we can uh, install the wirecast offline the dependency packages that the software runs on or depend on so in this uh, video I'm just going to see how we can we could enter the new academy session their entries and all that things we could we can do Now if you have been able to install the package the work offline properly and the whole other dependency packages properly then you should be able to when you run the the click when you click on the the hub then you should so you are supposed to see what you are having on the screen right now and uh, this interface the dialog box is where you can uh, input your son username and password after you might have done all the necessary instruction like instructed you to do on that video if you have not watched the video please go back and check them so then if you are able to do that then you should be able to have username and password like this one now if i enter my pass uh, username on this now then i will enter the password as well i enter the password I see I'm logged in right now and uh, what is the, what's what is that assurance that I'm logged you can see that all these icons are now valid then you can see presently that uh, that means I'm logged in and don't forget you are still on offline version not on now not, not online version of course so now you are you want to register student for 2019 academy session Dam you are talking about the student that are currently in SS2 right now but they entered SS1 2019 that means their entry year is 2019 don't forget that uh, the wire cast is talking about uh, the continuous assessment for the students cast 1 represent the when they were in SS1 cast 2 represent when they were in SS2 their continuous assessment then cast 3 is their continuous assessment when they were in uh, they are in SS3 So that means you want to enter uh, class one for students in SS2 right now that are preparing to go to SS3. That means their entry year is should be 2019. So that means if you want to start their class one, of course, why has not opened the portal as at I'm, uh, as at now that I'm recording this video, they have not opened their portal for the uploading of uh, class one or 2019 session. They have not yet. open the uh, portal but if you want to do it down so that in case you are asked to upload you can have it to upload at any time then you want to register the student for class 1 then what do you do you first want to change the academic session you need to follow a check you know, what is it called uh, you need to follow a set the academic session when they enter it as 1 and that should be 2019 how do you go about that you go to administration If you click administration here 
then you should have you have some uh, icons here but what do you need to get to you need to get to go to set academic section set active academic session so if you click on that this dialog box will come up and this one you are having enter the year student started ss1 that is your entering year so for student in ss2 right now going to ss3 because as far as i'm recording this message now the uh, student in lagos they are yet to to be promoted to ss3 because they are about to write mock now but i don't know of your own school your state where you are right now but as far as lagos is concerned they're about to write the mock and the examination so that it can be promoted but those students when they enter ss1 it was 2019 so that means you need to select this button then select 2019 as the entry year then you uh, say you click on set academic session then it will set it then how do I know that have, uh, the academic session has been set? Is by going to the student registration registration here. When you click on it, a dialog box will pop up, and uh, you can see that. You look at this entry here you're having here. You can see that it is 2019. So if you do your own and it's not 2019, please go back and set it again. That means no, it is not set. So when you are having 2019, Adam, you are ready to to register the student for new academic session that means of course you know what to do you need to get their, their details you need to get their passport ready and then when you get their passports ready you can save it in a folder on your system then you can resize all of course now you should know that if you click on this registration now there is a there is a there is a format to the to the picture you have 20 275 by 314 pieces and maximum size is 15 kilobytes so if the, the picture of the student do not make this uh this uh uh this requirement then it will not accept the picture so how do you do that S snap the student in a bar or white, white background uh, uh picture then store it on your data on your on your on a, in a folder in a directory on your system then what do you do? Go to uh, tools here. Then you can see resize photo. Click on it. If you click on it now, you can resize this the photo one after the other one one by clicking on this dialog box. Then when you click on it now, you can now go, select so it's, and then go to the the folder where you have uh, where you have uh, stored the images or the photos, whether on your desktop or you can try to locate it. Then when you do that. When I click on it, now I think I have a picture, a, a picture here. So when I click on this now, let me click on it. If I click on it now, then you can see it's going something. This uh, color will change here. Then I can click on resize and save passport, save you know, picture. So when you click, you can see that uh, the information has already been given here, 275 by 314. So it has resizes and it's going to store the picture in a root directory of a wire cast offline and that one could be found in the uh the documents when you go to your document on your system go to document uh, folder then you will see a uh, root folder of wire cast data then then locate the examination center of your school then go locate the resized picture then inside the picture you see those pictures that you have resized in there so also, if you don't want to do the, if you don't want to recite this uh, passport one after the other, you can do everything together. If you want to, you have 100 pictures, 200 pictures together at the same time, you can do it. It's by, you don't need to check this uh, box. Then just go to select the folder, the source folder. Once you select the source folder from your root, uh, from the uh, folder in your system, once you're about you're able to select that, then click OK. Don't click on the picture one after the other. Just click on the folder, then cl click OK. Then 